Hello everyone, my name is Mandy Lynn. I am the author of the Young Adult Novel Essence and today I'm going to be doing my March reading wrap up. Now this month was my spring break for college so you'd think that would mean I read more books but it meant the opposite. I had the busiest spring break ever. I was working and seeing friends that I haven't seen in a long time and getting distracted so the result was that I read five books this month which I was actually very pleasantly surprised about that because one, not all of them were books I completely enjoyed two, I was distracted and three, I don't know, I just it was an off month. Anyways, again there were five books that I read and then one graphic novel thing that I'm not sure if it can even be considered a novel because it's like you'll see. The first book I read was Finding Paris by Joy Preble and this was an advanced reader copy that I was given and I need to do a review on it. I wrote a review on Goodreads. I really 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 liked it in the beginning. I thought it was a very good contemporary novel but then the ending of the book was just handled not well. It was just a very serious subject that was just glossed over and that kind of upset me because it, I don't know, I felt like it ruined the book as a whole. <laughs> I finally got to read I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. This is a book that everybody has been talking about and it just won the Pulitzer Prize or something like that. One of those big novel awards. So it's a really good book obviously. I think I gave it five stars. I can't remember. It was either four or five. There was a lot of dog-eared things. I feel like I should remember if I gave it five stars. Anyways, if you don't know what this is about already, I'll just give you the quick one over. It's about these two twins and it goes back and forth between their perspectives and one's at the 13 year old perspective, the other one's at the 16 year old. It kind of shows how they drifted apart and how you know, things start colliding together again. It's really interesting and it's just kind of a different read. So it's refreshing in that way, but of course the writing is also very beautiful. The next book I read is How Not to Fall in Love by Lisa Brown Roberts. And I actually just did a book review on this, so I'm not going to talk about it too much right now. But I'll link the review down below. The only thing I didn't like about this book is that they sell it as a huge romance novel, which it is, but not mainly it's mainly about more contemporary coming of age it has romance but not enough to be titled after that but yeah the next book i have is every last promise by kristen halbrook and this book i started reading a while back and then i stopped reading because it completely lost interest for me and then i started reading it again and when i finally got about halfway through the book i was like oh my god okay this is a lot more interesting for me, this book was a little confusing at first because it went back between spring and fall and I didn't know that it was hopping back and forth between past and present. I thought it was next spring, next fall, next spring, next fall, so I was highly confused. Once I figured out it was hopping back and forth between those perspectives, though, things started to make a lot more sense. It's about this girl, Kayla, who was in a car crash that we know of that ended up killing a fellow student of hers and she was the one driving and everyone kind of is upset at her for that because everybody thinks she did on purpose but she has to keep this promise that she made to a best friend a secret that we don't exactly really know what the secret is until way at the end of the novel and to me it kind of upset me because you're hinted at this secret but you aren't actually told what it is but it's in a way, it's done in a way where it's really annoying and you're just kind of aggravated as a reader if you ask me. I I think I gave this book three and a half stars because the ending really saved it. Like I did not like this book at all at first. I didn't understand it. I didn't know what was going on. It just kind of annoyed me because the character was very whiny at the beginning. But then at the end of the book you're like, oh she had a good reason to be whiny and upset. But... I don't know, the book rubbed me the wrong way at the beginning, but it kind of saved itself at the end and I ended up really liking it. And here's my graphic novel, My Dog the Paradox, it's by The Oatmeal. I love The Oatmeal, I think he's amazing. It's just this short little thing with doodles and it's comedy and it's making fun of dogs and all they do. So 
Um, highly recommend this book and all of his books. But that's all I'm going to say on that because otherwise I'd just be, you know, going through this. And last but not least, I just finished this today, Unbearable Lightness, A Story of Lost and Gain, written by Portia de Rosy. She's actually married to Ellen DeGeneres. This is her memoir that she wrote because she ended up going through an eating disorder, and it's a very, very honest encounter of it. And it's definitely something that can be triggering, so if you have a past, be kind of treading lightly with this. I thought it was very interesting. I've read other books on eating disorders, and they can be kind of hit or miss for me. This one was very different from the rest of them, um, just because she was a model slash actress. So her point of view on it was very different from what most people may have. But I thought it was written very well. Like, I didn't really know what to expect because I was like, oh, she's an actress. I'm not sure how her writing's going to be. But it was actually very well written. And I don't really know how else to sum up this book. I gave it four out of five stars. So yeah, those are all the books I've read this month. If you've read some of them, please let me know down below. Or if you read something else this month that you really enjoyed, also tell me about it because I just like hearing about good books. So thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Mm -hmm.